Okay. All right. Hello and welcome to the Reserve with Google webinar. You're here with myself, Hannah, and Angel, and we're super excited to have this opportunity to introduce to you this exclusive Google feature that integrates with shortcut software. No doubt some of you have already seen or heard some of the buzz around Reserve with Google, have a few questions on how you can make this feature work wonders for you and your business. So over the next half an hour or so, we will hopefully cover all that information uh, and hopefully answer most of your questions. Uh, but before we get started here, we just want to introduce ourselves. So I'm Hannah, I'm an Enterprise Account Manager for North America here at Shortcuts, and your reserve with Google and Google My Business go to expert. And this is Angel. Pending Angel unmuting herself. would probably help if I unmuted her. There Hello, we go, everyone. Angel, you should be unmuted. <laughs> hey, everyone. Um, yeah, as Hannah had said, she had me muted. Sorry about that. So good morning to um, everybody. Well, afternoon for those of you on the uh, East Coast. And yeah, we're super excited to have you here today. Um, Hannah's going to start out, and then she'll pass over to me so that um, I can go through some details with you. Perfect. So first things first, before we begin, just a few housekeeping rules. This webinar is about a half an hour, like I said. We'll answer the majority of the questions at the end. My mic is on, Angel's mic is now on as well, but the rest of you are all muted, so you won't be able to, we can't hear you if you start talking, so please don't ask any questions verbally. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. If not, just double check that your speakers are on. During this presentation, if you do have any questions, please feel free to drop them down ask them at the end, type them into the chat box, and we'll be able to answer those questions. If you don't feel comfortable doing that, my contact information will be at the end of this presentation, and you can always send me an email. So let's begin, and we'll get started here. So today's webinar, we'll be covering Reserve with Google, what is it, why do you need it as soon as possible, helpful tips and tricks to get you the most out of this feature, how you can set up your shortcut system to maximize the Reserve with Google bookings, and a bunch of other fun stuff on top of that. So Reserve with Google, what is it? So Reserve with Google is now live, and you may have heard us talking about it, or you might have actually seen bookings come through shortcuts from Reserve with Google. So we actually just recently hit 35,000 bookings with Reserve with Google. Globally, we hit our record of the most bookings in one day at 583 bookings. That's huge. In North America alone, we hit 351 bookings just in one day, all from clients, brand new and returning, all from making bookings via Google. So what exactly is Reserve with Google? Reserve with Google was first introduced to the restaurant industry, and now they started to move it into the hair and beauty industry to be able to reap those same rewards. It's the latest way for your clients to make a booking online in real time, so making the process much easier for clients to rebook appointments and also for new clients to find you as well. It allows clients both existing and new, like I said, to book online straight through Google Network or Google Maps. When your Google My Business listing shows up in the search results, your clients will be able to click the book button. Sometimes it shows up as book now, book here, schedule now. Uh, Google changes their algorithms depending on who they're actually reaching out to and who, what past searches this customer has had, and they'll be able to make their booking from there. 
So this reduces the amount of clicks a client will actually need to then make that final booking. So what happens if your client is making a booking through Reserve with Google, well, one of your staff members is making an appointment for a client in the salon. We've got you covered. Because it integrates seamlessly with your shortcuts appointment book in real time, you're not at risk for any double bookings. So some facts on why we think you'll love it so much. According to Google, there was a 99% increase of people searching online for me products. So when you go to Google and you type in salon near me, haircut near me, any me Google searches, I know I do them myself all the time, food near me, things like that, that percentage has increased 99% in the past few years. And we all know that hair and beauty industry is one of the largest me searching products on the market. This allows clients to be able to find you by using Reserve with Google when they make those searches. So when your clients and potential clients are spending so much time online searching for services, you want to be able to stand out from the crowd and from your competition. Reserve with Google provides you a unique advantage when customers are searching online for your services in your area, i.e. new hairdresser, spa, clinic, your business will come up in the search results, whether they're searching on the main page of Google or they're looking in maps. So a reserve with Google means that they can have a completely effortless booking experience right from the get-go. The same goes for clients on the go. We wanna make their booking experience as effortless as possible. If they're going quickly, they're trying to make a booking, they've got a bunch of other things going on, you want to eliminate as many clicks as possible to make sure they actually finish making that booking. I know for myself, how many times do I leave browsers or open because I never actually finished doing what I set out to do because something else came up. By using Reserve with Google, we're eliminating that and it's becoming as seamless as possible. Also, Reserve with Google doesn't cost you anything. As long as you're using Shortcut's online booking feature, Reserve with Google is free. Now, I know you're probably excited to see Reserve with Google in action and what the booking process will be like for your clients. So I'm gonna hand over to Angel now. She's gonna walk you through the booking process and share some of the valuable tips that you can make changes in your shortcut system. All right, everyone. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through um, some of the uh, settings and everything that we wanna make sure you have set up properly within your shortcut system and um, within the console as well um, before I actually show you a booking. Um, so, First of all, you actually have a handout within the webinar here. So hopefully in the webinar panel, if you can open that up, you'll actually see a handout section and you'll see a handout called RWG Reserve with Google Webinar Checklist. So you can actually click on that, you guys, and that'll open up. And that's actually what you're seeing on my screen here as well. Um, and I'm just gonna go over this quickly. Um, so this is something that we'll take a look at right now and you can also reference back to you guys. So um, first we're gonna look at Fusion and we're gonna check out the business details to make sure that your business details within shortcuts actually match your business details for Google My Business. Um, we will ensure that like the address is up to date, the business hours are up to date and all of that. Um, then we're going to take a look at the employees and the services, and we're just going to talk a little bit about um, the details there that we need to um, make sure that we have set up. Okay, um, and then uh, there's a couple of other things down here at the bottom that are important as well, you guys, computer maintenance. So you wanna make sure that you're restarting your computer at least twice a week. Um, this is just to make sure that your computer is running um, you know, top performance um, so that we don't have your online services disconnecting or anything because the computer isn't kind of um, 
being nice today, right? <laughs> um, check here on the latest version of shortcuts. So remember that the latest is always the greatest. So um, we want to make sure that you're upgraded again so that shortcuts is performing, you know, as well as it can. Uh, make sure you have a good internet connection. This is important. Again, um, dropouts are what may be uh, causing some of the disconnection on your Google My Business page um, for booking. Um, so we want to make sure that we have a good internet connection. Uh, regular client merges to eliminate client duplicates. So if you are using um, online booking, you guys, you want to make sure that um, Check for Duplicate Clients is on and that you guys are also using the client merge feature. Okay, we'll also talk about um, the shortcuts console and some of the settings in there as well. Okay, so you guys, you can go ahead and um, close the handout. Uh, hopefully you were able to open it up and I'm actually gonna go into shortcuts and we're gonna talk about some of these um, items. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to show you is um, your business settings in Shortcuts Fusion. So if you go to Setup, Configuration, and then down at the bottom on the left, go to General and then click on Business. This is where you'll find your business details. So in here, you wanna make sure that um, the details here match your Google My Business page. So the business name, the address, you guys, as well as the opening hours here. So it's, it's important that this information is up to date. Um, so for those of you that maybe aren't on um, Reserve with Google yet, it may be because the site is able to connect because the details don't match okay all right the next thing I want to talk about is um, the employee setup okay because remember if we're allowing people to um, book online with our employees the way that we have it set up in here is the way that the names will be displayed online, right? So if I go into the employee section over here, so again, set up employees, um, you want to take a look at the employees that you have set up and the way that you have their names set up. So make sure that everything looks uniform. So if you're going to use first name and last name, you want to make sure that that's uniform across all the employees. Or if you're just going to use um, the alias like you see here, um, again, we want to make sure that, okay, first letter is capitalized, the rest is lowercase, or if it's all caps, everybody's all caps, so that it's uniform across the board and everything looks really nice on Google. If I need to edit any of these, you guys, I can just click on them and then click edit down at the bottom, and it would allow me to then edit the names. Okay, the other thing is, is down here at the bottom on the right, and again, if you're already using online booking, hopefully um, you've got all of this set up already, um, but down here on the bottom on the right, you can see that I have this little checkbox for available for online booking. So you wanna have that checked um, for anybody that should be available for online booking as well as booking through Reserve with Google. Um, and then anybody that shouldn't be, we can uncheck that. Okay. Now, one more thing in here as well is making sure that you have a schedule set up, you guys, because it's really important that um, Google Reserve can see um, that we have availabilities. Okay, so if you go into the schedule here, you wanna make sure that you have it set up all the way at least 30 days out. I would recommend if you, if your staff has set schedules, you guys, I would recommend copying that out into the future. Okay, so um, you can copy a single schedule at a time. So if I click on Mark Cells up here, you'll notice it says First Cell. So I'm clicking on Kent Schedule, and then I'm gonna go all the way through Friday because that's the end of my week. And then I can right click and Schedule Until, and it'll bring up the calendar and allow me to schedule that out. Okay, I can also copy everybody at once. So up here at the top on the left, if I click Mark Cells, I can click on Saturday, the first day of the week, all the way through Friday. And then you'll notice it highlights everybody across. And then again, you guys, I can right click and choose Schedule Until. And then you can choose how long you wanna schedule that schedule out for. That was a lot of schedules I just said. 
Okay, so I would click in December and I would say I want to schedule out all the way through um, maybe January 3rd because Friday is the end of my weeks. Okay. All right, so that's everything with the employee setup. Um, you guys, everything that I just went through as well, um, you can watch a video from the learning center. So you can look at how to update business details, how to update employee details and all of that. Um, so if you have questions further, please reference the learning center or as Hannah said, you'll be able to reach out to her at the um, um, after this if you need also. Okay. Now there's a couple of other things I wanted to review in um, your Shortcuts Fusion system setup. Um, one is capabilities. Um, so if you're in um, a salon or a barber shop where everybody does every service that you offer, you won't need capabilities set up. But if you're in a uh, environment where maybe some people don't do all of the services that you offer, you want to make sure that you've got the capabilities set up. Again, if you're using online booking, probably this is not an issue for you because you've already got it set up, but we just want to review this. Um, so the capability is um, here. So I've got my services, uh, which are haircuts under this capability, designer cut, barber cut, children's cut. And then these are the employees that are capable. So if I need to add anybody to that capability, I would click on haircuts and then go to employee down here. And then I could add anybody that isn't currently part of the capability. All right, so that's the capability set up. And then the other one is your resources set up. So if I go all the way down to the bottom of my setup menu down here, I've got this little resources icon, which kind of looks like a Swiss Army knife. Now, some of you are probably like, what are resources? Um, so resources are um, the ability to book out a room or a chair or maybe um, a machine um, so that we don't overbook those items or those services when we don't have um, a room available or a chair available. Um, so some of you may not use this. So for those of you that don't, um, no worries there. Um, for those of you that do use resources, likely they're already set up and everything's good, but um, you wanna make sure that this is configured properly because this is something that, um, again, you know, we will book out a room or um, an item or a device for a service. So we just wanna make sure these are set up. So you've got your resources over here, which are um, my skin room and my nail table and my massage room and so on. And then over here is where I can set up the category. So I've got my skincare and the services are my facial and my microderm and so on. And then the resource is the skin room. Okay. And you guys, again, just a reminder that all of these items you can review by going to the Learning Center and finding a video on how to do the setup. Okay, so if you have any questions on this, you guys, um, like Hannah said, at the end, we'll be able to answer questions. Um, so you can go ahead and ask questions um, and we can help there. Okay, so just a reminder, you guys, in Fusion, we need to look at the business settings. We need to look at the employee setup. We need to look at capabilities and resource setup as well. Okay, now I'm gonna take you into the Shortcuts console. Give me just a moment to pull that up. All right. Just queuing up the console here. Sorry about that, guys. All right, so in the Shortcuts console, um, hopefully you guys are all familiar with this, but if you're not, um, the console is uh, console, C-O-N-S-O-L-E dot shortcutsoftware.com. Um, and I'm gonna go into the site settings. So if you click on the site settings right here, it looks like a little gear. 
these are the details in the console that you want to make sure are set up properly. Okay, so um, again, these details should match your Google My Business page. Okay, so again, the site name, um, the details here, your website, um, the address and the phone number and your business details. Now your business details are syncing up from uh, Shortcuts Fusion. So those should be correct as long as you set them up properly in there. Okay, um, so hopefully you guys are taking some notes here and if um, you don't have this all set up properly, you're gonna go check that and um, now you have some tools to be able to make sure that everything's set up properly. Okay, so now the fun part, you guys. So now I'm actually going to show you um, a booking through Reserve with Google. All right, so I'm going to search for the um, shortcut site that we have on Reserve with Google. Okay, and what you see um, when I search for just that site, obviously you guys, the reason I search for just that site is because I wanna be able to book in this site and then be able to um, show you that booking. Um, but as Hannah said, you'd be able to search things like hair salon near me or haircut near me or um, hair salon Huntington Beach and you'd be able to then appear in that search, okay? So over here on the right, you can see the page and it says see schedule and book. And as Hannah said, that button changes. Sometimes it'll just say book, sometimes it'll just say schedule. Um, the, the button changes, but either way, um, you're still able to book through Google here. So if I click on the button here, um, actually, one more thing before I do that, I just want to point out, you guys, that um, because I'm logged in already, it's actually showing a past booking I made through Google as well, which I think is really cool. So I want to see, I want you guys to see how easy this is. So I click book, I click my designer cut, and then it shows me some times that are available. Well, that's not what's supposed to happen. Let's try that one more time. Angel, that's a good thing that did happen because that means that someone's trying to make a booking at the same time that you're trying to make the booking on reserve. So you can see that the two systems sync seamlessly, so it won't allow someone to make a reserve with Google booking at the same time that someone would be making, a receptionist would be making an appointment in your salon or barber shop. So that's where Google will try and pull that information, and so you could see where it actually stopped her to say, hey, nope, this appointment is no longer available. Thanks, Hannah. That's a really good point. So yeah, so it will error out for the customer if you happen to choose a time that somebody's trying to book, but you can see that I was able to just grab another time there, um, 1230, just a little later in the afternoon, and um, it's showing the details of the appointment. It's showing my contact information, and it's also showing the price. Um, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and click book. Okay, and the customer will, of course, you guys um, see the, the confirmed booking right here on the screen, but they'll also get a confirmation email. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and click done. And then I just wanna take you into um, the shortcut system where we booked into so that we can actually see um, that booking. Give me just a minute, you guys. Uh, 
Hey, right. Angel, while we're waiting for this to load in here, um, quick question that came in from Brittany. She said, "Will with Google Reserve showing a price, how do you navigate that with services that may not be able to have a standard price? So example, a color based on desired outcome could be a higher price than what you're advertising. So the great thing with Google is it actually just shows a starting price. So it says from $37, from $17. So Google wants to make sure that you're providing a base price and by no means says, hey, this is what the price is gonna be at the end of the service. Yeah, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, if anybody else has any questions, you can go ahead and ask one right now. Uh, just trying to get into this shortcut system here. Somebody changed my pin number. Sorry about that, guys. Another great question. How can you control how your services are listed? Um, We okay. prefer to list our popular services first, but when we tested Reserve with Google, some of the services weren't coming in the same way you wanted. So the interesting thing with the services is, so it includes the category first and then the service. So Google with their algorithm will actually over time keep watching consumer trends and how people are actually booking services and will move your most popular services to the top. Um, this is all controlled by Google, so there actually isn't a way for you to determine which order your services go in. Okay. Thanks for that, Hannah. Um, so you guys, that's a really good question about the services. Um, and one thing that I do just want to maybe show you quickly is um, in shortcuts, if I go to setup, and go to services, the way that the service displays within Google or with reserve with Google is it will show the category name and then the service after it. So it would say, for instance, color, all over color, and haircut. Um, so that's the way it would display. So you want to think about how your services are set up to make sure that it would make sense to customers when they're looking at it. So if the category is, you know, waxing, um, you know, that would be good. And then we'd have brow wax, so it would say waxing brow wax. Okay, so just something to think about there. Okay, so um, I've filtered uh, to be able to see the booking that we made. So down here at the bottom, um, if I click on my little filter, and then I click on the little review. So the same way that I um, look for online bookings coming through. So I'll click on that. And then there is my booking. If I click on it, um, I just want you guys to see the touch tip and that, you know, basically that it shows you that it's coming through Google. So you can see the little uh, notes field there and it says the booking uh, has come through Google there. Okay, um, so hopefully, like I said, you guys um, took some notes on all the little setup items that you might need to check. If you have any questions, please let us know at the end here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pass back to Hannah so that she can finish up for us. Perfect, thanks Angel. Thanks for showing all of those features and how we can optimize that. Uh, definitely helps to make sure that all of your settings are checked in Shortcuts Fusion, also checked in the cloud as well. Uh, the next place that you wanna make sure that you're checking all of your settings is on your Google My Business page and your Google My Business account. So important things to remember is that it's really important to claim your Google business listing. So you can literally go to Google and just type in claim my Google business listing and it will pop up. This is gonna help you be able to make changes. So your hours, your contact information, things like that. 
Google is very user friendly. So they make sure that at all times people can know when you're open, who they're supposed to call with questions, and et cetera. So make sure you're completing all that information that Google asked for. And then another thing is to post on Google. So Google now has this really cool feature called posting. It is a little pop-up that shows underneath your Google business listing, and it's the new way, very similar to posting on social media, to grab customers' attention. These posts only last seven days, so it's really important to post things that are gonna be coming up for that next week, right? So things like promoting specials, maybe a new stylist, uh, specific products, things like that are really important to then promote. And it's just another free avenue for you to be able to promote product services, uh, and especially employees as well. So we're here to help. If this sounds a little bit overwhelming to you and you're not really sure where to get started, Shortcuts can help you by helping you set up your Google My Business account, getting your My Business your Google My Business listing optimized. So we can have a consultation with you to say, hey, here are recommended changes or here are shortcuts best practices when it comes to optimizing your Google My Business listing. And we can even help further than that. So again, my contact information is gonna be at the end of this uh, session. Please feel free to reach out. This feature is a huge major game changer and we wanna make sure that not only are you presenting yourself while in your location, but also online. It's becoming your digital storefront and you want customers to have the same experience in your location as they would online. So how can you get your hands on reserve with Google? It's a great question. You probably already have it. So chances are you already have it. If you're using online booking, there's a good chance that Reserve with Google is already active for you. Like Angel said, we highly suggest going and Googling yourself, looking at your Google business listing, seeing if you have the book now button there. Jump in, see what it looks like, see what it looks like to make an appointment, see how your services are set up. You, you do need to be using Shortcuts online booking to be able to use Reserve with Google. Feel free to contact myself or support if you're not seeing that book now button or you don't have reserve with Google activated, if they can help you get it activated, I can also have you get it activated. So just quick recapping, if you're using online booking function, it should be already turned on for you. You do need to be using shortcuts online booking and that's it, it's free. So that's really exciting. This is a right, another great avenue for you to be able to attract more clients and get more bookings. So here is my contact information, hannah.shafer at shortcuts.net. If you have any questions about Reserve with Google, if you wanna know more about our Google offerings, please get in touch. I'm always happy to help answer any of those questions, help you get a little bit more notice, things like that. I'm gonna leave this slide up, Angel, actually while we just go through some questions. So this is the time for questions. Please feel free to enter in questions into the questions box or the chat box. We do have one question that came through. So can you pick and choose through shortcuts which services or categories you can offer through Zero with Google? So yes, you can. Any of your services that you choose to be eligible for online booking, those will also sync through to be available for Reserve with Google. So if you don't want a service on or available for Reserve with Google, do not have that service available for online booking. Um, and there's a video on that. Um, and if you can't find the video, just let us know and we'll send you in the right direction on how you can do that. Um, yeah, and then don't forget the checklist, you guys. That checklist is really handy. It really just walks you through step-by-step step all the things you need to do to make sure um, everything is optimized. Another question here, Angel, I'll let you answer this one. How can I tell if I'm getting bookings from Reserve with Google? Where do I look from a reporting standpoint? So there's a couple of ways um, that we can see this. Um, hopefully you're already using our cloud reporting feature. Um, if you're using the cloud reporting feature, you just simply log into the cloud. That's pos.shortcutsoftware.com. Um, and uh, you log in there and just go to your menu and go to the report section. On the dashboard, you guys, there's a, um, a booking source section that will actually tell you um, 
well, one of the sources is Google, and it will actually tell you how many bookings and um, the projected dollar amount of that uh, of those bookings. So you can check there. Okay, does, hopefully that answers your question. One other question that we have in here, so again, it's how much does Reserve with Google cost? And Reserve with Google is free, so it doesn't cost you anything. Like we said, probably too many times already, if you have online booking through Shortcut Setup, you will be eligible to receive Reserve with Google for free. Yep. That is the last of our questions here. Thanks everybody for your time today. We hope you got a lot out of this. We're looking forward to seeing you at our next webinar. Again, if you have any questions, please do reach out. We're always happy to answer any of your questions. And the Learning Center is a great resource to be able to view any of those things that Angel went over from a setup standpoint as well. Awesome, thanks Hannah and thanks everyone. Thank you.